What's up guys, my name is Corbin Phillips. Welcome back to the channel. Today I am joined by Emma Horn, my fiance, soon to be wife. Uh, we're excited because we have a really fun video today. I'm gonna be playing at my league round. Uh, RPM Ninja's putting it on at South Fork Landing in North Bend. Uh, but Emma is gonna be picking every disc that I throw during the round. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. I don't normally play disc golf, but I'm just gonna look in the bag and choose whatever color I am feeling. So it should be interesting, it should be a fun round. I'm definitely gonna have to get creative with the shots that I throw, uh, but we'll see how it goes. Talk about the round. So Emma, this disc, why'd you give it to me? Because I didn't know we were starting and you said give me a disc, so I picked a random one. Nice. <laughs> and it's pink. <laughs> it is pink. So uh, this disc is uh, 11 speed and pretty understable. So I wasn't really sure what to do with this hole because it's pretty short. So I did a forehand just to minimize distance and did a little flip up. Ended up being okay. Uh, I have a bit of a putt, just a little bit uh, obstructed with some branches and kind of awkward footing with that tree behind me that I booty bump right there and the uh, log right there and I just leave it a little low. But I appreciate you giving me a putter. At for that. least I know what your putters look like. Yes. Having putters for putting is ideal. So sticking what? with the pink. Sticking with the pink. New pink disc. Uh, I is... do like pink. It's a good color. Um, yeah, this is my Hamburg Destroyer. It's pretty overstable. Uh, typically on this hole I'll go roller, but not with this disc because it's just overstable. I'm glad I got a driver because it's, it's way down there and it's part three. So uh, you gave me it again for this upshot. Um, so that, that made it a little bit tricky. Uh, I don't think I've ever thrown this disc this short before. So that was a new experience. <laughs> um, just trying to forehand it and let it kind of crash in. I forgot that there'd be like no skips since I was throwing it so slow, but it's all right. I have a putt still. And we get low again. Uh, yeah, kind of a bummer. Two in a row low. I was hoping to kind of correct that, get it up there, but didn't quite make the correction. Um, and so now I'm one up. So, hole three. The ESP Nuke. The ESP Nuke. It's a classic. Gotta love the means. Doesn't matter the distance. ESP Nuke will always work. Uh, I will be honest though, this is a little bit short for the ESP Nuke, so uh, <laughs> I uh, just kind of struggled off the tee, trying to throw it too light, and then I ended up really far right, just because the overstability really kicked in. Um, yeah, driver's off the tee every single time so far, so, I mean, Go me. it's not bad. Um, not in the best way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm kind of pinched off because I went too far right and too far forward, so really just a pitch up here. Just trying to give myself an easy putt to save par. And I correct, so I'm able to get up high, which is good. And we're moving on to hole four, the triple man down. Good. That's a driver. That's a driver. That's my Nuke OS, so that would be really bad. And she was thinking about that one for a little bit. Um, that would be that would be a tough one because this hole's like 240, triple made up straight. So, but yeah, the multi works just fine. Um, it's a mid range. Usually I'll go with a throwing putter just because it's pretty short here. So I was trying to dial down the power a little bit um, in this one, just so I can make the band out. Nice and smooth, and 
almost goes in, actually. This was a nice little ace run, uh, just over the top, and left me a little bit long, but still a pet. You're welcome. I don't really have a method to what I give you. I just look at them and I'm like, hmm, why not? I mean, oof. Yeah, so, putting's not going great today, but that's all right. Yeah, I mean, I have some, some pretty looking discs in the bag, so if you want to choose a pretty disc, that's, that's fine. Yeah, this is a pretty long hole, so I'm glad you stayed with your, uh, your strategy of going drivers off the tee. Um, aside from the one last time. So, Hamburg Destroyer for this one, which is actually a great disc for this. This is more of a throw, 50% of the time, depending on what the wind is doing. And I felt really good on this rip. Like, I, I had a great pull, I just was a little bit low. Uh, if that had the height, that would have gone way down there. I thought you could putt from here. I, so I was gonna give you a putter, but I, I decided wish I could to putt not. From there. We're probably 160 feet out, so if I could putt from there, that would be really handy. But this is actually the disc I would probably throw in this or the zone. Um, just a little upshot, trying to get it close for a putt. Um, I figured out that those ones aren't drivers or putters. Nope, they're just kind of a weird <laughs> putter that you throw. <laughs> Oh, oh, what was, oh yeah, yeah, you're giving me the butter, gotcha. And another one not in. I grabbed top of cage and some chains. Uh, yeah, putting woes today, which is a bummer because it's a sanctioned round, so this goes with my rating. <laughs> yep, I cannot put today. Oh yeah, I was spying on that guy to see what disc he was throwing so I could pick one. <laughs> Not <laughs> a bad like, strategy. Mm. <laughs> Sticking with the Heimberg Destroyer. It's a, it's a favorite, it seems like. Mm -hmm. This is actually a good disc for this hole. Um, normally I'd go with a fairway forehand, but just kind of powered down a little bit. Try to sneak it in there. Almost hit that perfect gap to go right at the basket, but I grabbed one of the trees, but I'm still pretty close. Thought maybe you'd cut better with the magnets. So. Yeah, the my other putter, the jawbreaker magnet's a little bit beat up, um, and so I'll, I normally cut with the this yellow magnet. But I do what I've been doing all around, and I go top of cage. So I missed the birdie. It's a real bummer, because um, that was in a really good position for it, and that was a good disc selection by Emma for me to get the birdie. <sighs> I just uh, couldn't quite connect. I have no idea what this spin is. It's so, blue and thin. Yeah, that's a driver, um, which is good for this hole. It's pretty far. Normally I'd go fairway, but driver works. It's just... Uh, a little bit understable, which made it kind of tricky because this hole goes really far left. So I just threw it lighter and on a hyzer flip, which kind of limited the skip. Does that work? I don't but really know. I'm in a decent spot. Okay. I think this one you're kind of trying to decide if it was a putt or <laughs> a throw. It wouldn't be a putt for me, but it is pretty good. Uh, and I give it a pretty good bid, uh, just slightly left of the chains, but Russ on the hill, easy three. And now we're on hole eight, almost at that nine hole. And we're going with the ESP nuke again. Back to the ESP nuke. Yep, it's a classic. Um, yeah, I tried to throw this one really light on Heiser, and it just flipped up. 
and just went super straight past the basket a little bit. Uh, the wind was being a little crazy out there, so that's part of it. But yeah, normally I'd go with a really overstable throw around this hole and just power it. When in doubt, I just uh, give him the really ESP cool. nuke, but I really shouldn't stop doing that. I just think it's funny. <laughs> you know, it is kind of funny. Yeah. This one might be too I thought it was going to be way worse than that. You were actually in a decent spot. Yep. Off the tee, it looked worse, but from the lie, it's not terrible. It's just a little bit far out. Uh, I believe I was 40 feet, 45 feet out for this. But I'm able to put it in, which is so uh, exciting. Got the first birdie oh, nice. on the round, uh, which is helpful for my score. <laughs> I did that. Give you that putter, so you're welcome. The yellow one. You would make it, so I'd make it. Last hole of uh, part one, hole nine. So just trying to finish it out. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is for this. I've never seen that this before. So. Yep. Beefy okay. fairway. Uh, this is actually what I normally throw in this hole. So great selection, Emma. Oh, and I it looks like I missed the throw, but that's where it ended up. I'll see if I can fix that in the edit. Uh, and a terrible putt. Man, I just put that on so much ante. But luckily I stayed in, uh, didn't go into the hazard, which was nice, and I was able to bang the putt to... And uh, that is part one. So uh, yeah, guys, join us next week for part two, back nine. Uh, I am currently one up. Let's see what we can do on the back nine.